Hello everybody, welcome back to another video in this uh, D-Class uh, diary series. End of December I actually did a annual steam test of the locomotive and that all went well. But um, I did notice uh, there was a bit of gunk or muck from where I come from in the water level gauge. So I thought we'll, uh, thought I'd make a video of cleaning that gauge. So as you can see there on the glass, there's all sort of lime scale on it there. So to make sure that it stays clear to read the actual water level, I've decided that I'm going to give it a clean. So um, let's get on with it. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually remove the roof. Get rid of that. Okay, the next thing that we uh, need to look at is whether we can actually get to these eight face screws um, without actually removing the body. Um, it might be a bit difficult here for those on the right hand side. I don't really want to remove the body if it's not necessary, but we'll uh, take a look with the screwdriver. Not long ago, I actually bought one of these uh, handy little sets where you've got a lot of different uh, fittings in one screwdriver set. So we'll take that out. And the screwdriver handle. And we'll give this a go. See whether we can get to, to all the screws. So let's try these screws then. Just loosen these a bit of a time. Okay, the last screw then. Okay, there's the facing plate. Yeah. Okay, if you look here, there's a sort of neat drill seal here. So I'm going to try and fish that out. Yeah, there it comes. Yeah, oh, there it goes. Got it here. I'll put that here in as well. So here we have the the plate on the outside and there's nothing much wrong with this plate so perhaps give it a wipe down with a damp cloth and that's that's done um, the seal the nitrile seal um, there's a let me get my pointer there's a little bit of gunk on there so I'll give that a wipe down as well with a damp cloth see if we can get rid of that now you got this one, the glass itself. I think what I'll give that a rub down with some uh, household vinegar. That should get rid of the lime scale and clean it up a bit on both sides. We'll give that a go. Now, if we look at the gauge itself here, I'll give this a wipe as well. It doesn't look like there's any scale or anything on this. This is going to make the seal, of course. So it looks okay. And I'll give this a quick wipe with some white spirit on a cotton bud. And we'll give that a go as well. And then put the whole thing back together. 
So we'll just put a bit of white spirit in here. Oh, more than enough. And let's take a look at this glass. Put it in there and give it a clean. Got a bit of kitchen towel here. See if that'll work. Put that to one side and we'll see what it's like. Not too bad. Try another bit of cotton with the cotton bud, see if we can do something with that. Alright. So I'm happy with that. I'll put that in there. Now that sort of dirt on the on the seal. That just comes off with the fingers as well. So we'll do it with that way. I haven't got a reserve seal, so got to be careful what we do. Now let's have a look. That looks okay. Okay, for the for cleaning up that that white in the gauge on the locomotive. I'm going to be using some white vinegar. So we'll put a bit in this jam jar lid. We'll get ourselves a cotton bud and we'll see if we can make it any cleaner. Oh, yeah, there's a bit of grime coming off there. So it might be in my, my imagination, not sure, but it does look a bit cleaner. So we'll put everything back together, starting with the nitrile seal. A bit difficult with the camera there, but we'll try and get this in here. Okay, now that went in all right. Make sure it's seated properly. Looks all right. Okay, get the glass on. Now the plate. With some screws. So we'll set them all now just with a little bit of pressure okay they're now all let's say finger tight so we'll go around and uh, just increase the pressure just to seal that um, nitrile seal. So there we go. Back on and um, 
I hope you can see there it's uh, it's a lot cleaner and uh, and clearer so I should be able to see the water a lot better now of course the final test is actually to do a uh, steam get it running and make sure there's no leaks so let's have a go at that so we've just got the locomotive up and running we'll give it a, a bit of time to um, warm up so you can clearly see the water level in the gauge there and so far it's dry not leaking so I'm quite happy indeed for the rest of the running session the gauge remained perfectly dry so I'm well happy with the result I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thanks for watching and perhaps till next time bye bye